because um, honestly, because it's an all-girls school and everything, like everything about that. Although at times, of course, I hated it while I was going through it. Sometimes, you know, you're like, oh, that was fun. But um, it was amazing, and I got to um, experience things in a really different way than a lot of my friends in college. I know were like asking me about it. Um, you're just so much more comfortable at school and. Um, like, I, I just, it's so hard to describe, but the friendships that you make are closer, honestly, than in a co-ed school, and you, you just, you just, like, want to learn more, and my advice to your daughters uh, would be, when I, <laughs> don't try to be cool, <laughs> because I know, like, sixth, seventh grade, like, everyone tries to be cool, and it just doesn't work out, because you're going to be like, you're not going to be cool, so I just, <laughs> Especially at GPS, uh, my friends at, at, um, at UVA were asking me, like, oh, like, oh, were you cool or whatever? And I'm like, but there wasn't a cool. Like, if, you just, if you're a nerd, then you're cool. Or if you're really into community service, then you're cool. Like, everyone just kind of like, accepts each other, which I don't know happens in a lot of other schools. So. I don't think that I would be the same person if I had an all girls education. I just think being in an all girls environment. Like we're all women, whether we're sixth grade girls or eighth grade girls. You know, I mean, the hormones are there, everything is there. Girls are dating, girls are doing everything. You know, it's we're all, we're all going through the same transitions together. And I think the small environment allows us to emerge in our own way. What we're going to do, what we're going to find, whether the, we're the athlete, whether we're the Harvard person. <laughs> <laughs> For me, um, it was the ultimate preparation. I mean, I am now at a school of 42,000 undergrad. And um, when I was in sixth grade, I was, I mean, you wouldn't know it now, but I was really shy back then. And um, I was kind of living in the shadow of my older sister and, you know, like kind of following in her path, like doing all kinds of sports, trying to keep up and, you know, make myself a little star athlete of my own. But um, it was, it gave me an opportunity to not have to be the family si like stigma of like, you know, the, um, it let me be someone else. I, I am the black sheep of the family. I mean, I'm the artsy fartsy one, if you will. Um, but I mean, so, um, but I mean, going back to school this fall, I mean, I didn't feel nervous at all. I mean, it didn't even strike me that there were 42,000 people I have a thousand living in my dorm, but it doesn't overwhelm me because I feel like I have the social skills, if you will, um, to be an adult, but yet still relate to people my age. Like I can talk to an adult, but I can also talk to people my age or younger. Um, and then of course the academics, I mean, I'm helping people write papers. I'm, you know, it's, you learn those study habits that allow you not to stay up, you know, like the classic college thing, you stay up till 2 a.m. studying. It's, you study a little bit every night and then it's not as stressful. It creates like a wonderful, just calm about college. When I was in sixth grade, or in elementary school, I was in grades and, and athletics and everything else. And um, I remember one of the biggest adjustments was, and my mom first had to adjust to this and then explained to me that I also needed to adjust. You're going, um, GPS is a girls preparatory school. And not only is it a middle school and a high school, but it's also preparing you for college and for your life. And I think we kind of take it for granted, 
but I go to school, I go to college in Alabama, and Alabama doesn't have an all-girls school, and Tennessee has several. And so it's hard to forget that this is a unique place and a unique thing that a lot of people don't have the opportunity to go to. And so when you think about sending your child here, and when I remind myself before I send my child here, I'm going to have to remind myself and my husband and her that you're not getting, you're getting what everybody else is getting, but you're getting so much more. And then what that actually means is you can't necessarily compare your daughter's sixth grade year to another girl's sixth grade year at a different school. And that might be one of the biggest adjustments. Whereas if you were making a certain grade or if you were, you know, if you had a certain amount of free time before sending your daughter here, she might, those things might change, but you have to adjust and realize that she's going to a preparatory school and the adjustments are worth it. So that's one thing I think for parents and kids that it's a warning and also just like an explanation and hopefully an encouragement. <laughs> but I think what sets GPS apart from other schools is the atmosphere here. And like Dave all said, it's something you can't even describe and it's something nobody really understands <coughs> unless they've been here. And I know I'll be at college trying to explain to my friends and they just don't, they can't grasp the fact like how close of friends I am with people I still graduated with and then I talk to them every single day and they say, you know, oh, I haven't talked to mine in a couple weeks. I'm gonna, it's just this bond that you create that you are able to form with people <coughs> and with teachers and it's something that you will never know unless you're in this place. One of the things I really appreciated about GPS is that it asks, it's, it asks the girls to like think of a world other than their own. And not just like, for, for middle school we learned that like what you do impacts, you know, all, everyone around you in class is a collaborative experience and you learn from each other as much as you learn from your teacher. But as you grow and there's so much emphasis placed both in like extracurricular programs and for community service activities and through, I guess, globally minded activities that you are not a solitary figure in your world and you, your, your school isn't the only place in the world and your close community isn't the only place in the world but it asks girls to like look and learn what's happening around the world, what's happening with girls our age around the world and like it's all, most of the girls that I meet here really and true that I've met here really and truly understand like that they have a sort of a responsibility to know what's going on in other places and going on with other people and they have a drive to like serve their community and serve the wider community and, and I like that's what I really did like on my activities a lot of like globally minded things um, but I really like that and I really like that the fact that GPS asks you to know more about just yourself in Chattanooga but know, know about your entire world and other people other countries other places One thing I really kind of took for granted when I was here and then I went off to college and I realized it wasn't the same was the honor system at GPS and the, the emphasis on you do your work, you, um, you know, you do the best you can um, and not, you know, cheat and all that. Like we had a, a, we have a pledge and I still, my freshman year of college, I wrote it on my first test and I was like, wait, this is not GPS. Like, ingrained in me and really really I think I you know I learned it here to, to stick with you know to have character and to um, to not cheat and to you know depend on myself and that, that was something that really is important and I've learned here so I felt like I lived here I could leave my backpack in the middle yeah. of this room and come back you know at the end of the day and my laptop would still be there yeah and and now I, I go to the library at Clemson and I have to get someone to watch my stuff while I go run to get a drink of water or something. And that's, you know, it's very different and it does, it does make you aware of your integrity. Um, like, I, cheating never crossed my mind. Like yeah. just, that wasn't a that goal. Was, yeah. Cheating didn't exist. But you're in college and you're around people who are like, oh, well, what did you get exactly. on that problem? Or, yeah, that's you what know, I, and everything's on the computer yeah. now, so people, yeah. I mean, it's just yeah. right, exactly. Um. I think I think from going here, from the time you're in sixth grade, they kind of instill this idea that you can do whatever you want to yeah. do. You can study what you want. You can be an engineer. You can go on to do so many different things. And so, um, I 
I've just come to find, you know, talking to people at school who didn't come from an all-girls school environment, um, just kind of a different mindset as far as what they feel, like, of, like my roommate, what she felt she could do kind of as a woman in the world versus my mindset of what I could do. And there's no, there's no barrier on, on the girls here. I just, I mean, just from the time your daughter comes in, it's that idea, you know, we see girls with girls with power and strength all around campus. And I remember while we were in school, we were kind of like, oh, it's just another acronym for GPS. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but you really do think, I mean, you really, when you get into certain situations um, in college, I've, at the lunch table once before, I had somebody say, like, oh, you know, don't say anything about it. Like, he's a guy, just let him say what he wants. And I was kind of like, what? And I mean, I've never <laughs> known not to say what I wanted to say or if I have an opinion about something. Um, and that you learn that in the classroom to voice your opinion and to think outside of the box and to, you know, come up with different ideas and to share those ideas. And you're not going to be attacked for that or you're not going to, you know, you're not going to have somebody in class next to you laughing or saying, like, you know, that idea is, is stupid or different things like that. And that's one of, I think, the greatest things. And it really does set you, and in the long run, I think that's what sets us apart from other people in our class who didn't have this experience. Thank <laughs> you.